Hi everyone, I'm Linda from Colorworks Designs and welcome into the Colorworks Design House. This is week one of our newest quilt along called Mod Blossom, which you see right here behind me. This is a super fun, super easy going quilt along. We're gonna take it at your own pace over the next five weeks. And we're gonna make these big, bodacious, blooming blocks that you see behind me. They're fat quarter friendly and we're gonna learn some curve piecing as well as fine tune our quarter inch seam piecing along the way. But we also have eight previous quilt alongs for you to enjoy as well. If you haven't seen those, hop on over to the colorworks.com website, click on the fun stuff tab, and then click on the quilt along tab, and you'll have access to all eight quilt alongs, including blog posts and also video tutorials to help you. So let's briefly review our schedule for the new quilt along Mod Blossom. It's a five week schedule. This week, week one, is all about getting your pattern and gathering your materials together. Week two is about pre-cutting those fabrics and also making the templates that are included in your pattern. Week three, we're gonna learn a little bit about curve piecing while making this big bodacious leaf block. Week four, we're gonna fine tune our quarter inch seam while making this huge flower block, which is super easy to piece. And then week five, we're gonna put it all together. So that's our schedule for Mod Blossom. Let's head over to the cutting board and look at the pattern and gathering your fabrics. So here we are with the two blocks that we're gonna make over the next uh, five weeks. Now, of course, you can make more blocks as the quilt along goes on. This is the leaf block, and this is the flower block on the other side. And you can see that the fabrics are matching. So when you start to scour your stash for fat quarters, or if you have a fat quarter bundle, this is what I meant, it's about fat quarter friendly. Every two fat quarters will make one leaf block and one flower block and then you add other fat quarters in to do the centers or the cornerstones that you see here. So again when I started this these are Krista Watson's Stitchy Fabric. It's available up on our website right now the pre-order and again the fabric collection is called Stitchy and it's just gorgeous. It's filled with a color wheel assortment of beautiful fabrics like you see here and um, what I did is I paired together coordinating fat quarters. So I took two of the favorite magenta or fuchsia colors that I liked. Those became a pair and each two fat quarters made me leaf petals and made me flower petals. And then I added in another couple coordinating fat quarters to make the centers of the leaf blocks and the centers of the flower blocks. And then also these cornerstones here, these are two fat quarters as well. So if you have a fat quarter bundle, you're ready to go. Um, if you don't and you wanna scour your stash, then go ahead and gather probably four to six fat quarters. Um, that way you can dip your toes in and make one leaf block, one flower block, and have those extra couple fat quarters there to do the centers and the cornerstones here and the centers of the flowers. Um, so that's kind of how you um, go about choosing your fabrics with us for the quilt along. The next thing also is you're going to need the Mod Blossom pattern. So this is available from our website at colorworks.com. It's available in both a PDF and a paper version. This is the paper version. And regardless of which version you get, um, when you look through it, it might be a little confusing, especially if you're just going to make one or two of these blocks. Um, because the pattern itself speaks to making all 12 of the blocks that you see on the cover, six of the flower blocks, six of the leaf blocks, plus all the centers and the cornerstones and everything like that. So go get the pattern because you'll need that for your cutting directions, but also you'll need it because it includes the Mod Blossom template shapes that you'll need to make the curved piecing and the flower shapes and things like that. When you get the paper version at home, this is the paper version, um, you'll get an insert in your pattern called the Mod Blossom template shapes. You'll need to make a copy of these or trace these out on template plastic or heavy cardboard. These are all full size template shapes and there's also a line art drawing there to help you decide what colors you want where. If you get the PDF version, it's just a little bit differently. You'll be printing that out on your printer and you're going to get four um, pages of template shapes. You'll need to have your printer set on 100%. Uh, don't uh, have it set on scale to fit. 
do a test copy when you print out and make sure that this one inch square that's right here on every single template page measures one inch. So it should measure one inch by one inch. Notice also these are full size so you just would trace them and um, make templates out of uh, cardboard or heavy plastic. These, which is the leaf shape, will need to be taped together and you match together the arrows that are overlapping the pages at the dotted line and that will create your leaf shape for you and then you would trace that or cut that out and put it on heavy cardboard. So that wraps up week one of our Mod Blossom Quilt Along. Remember, get your pattern, scour your stash for your fat quarters, or use a fat quarter bundle that's been waiting to be made into a quilt. And then next week, week two, join us while we pre-cut the fabrics, as well as make the templates that are included in the pattern. Happy Colorishes Quilting, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week for week two of the Mod Blossom Quilt Along. <music>